Okay, what is everybody? Today we're back again with another video and today as you probably heard by the title We're gonna have our first look at the Bloodhound DLC First of all, thank you to Expansive Worlds and the team over there for letting me and other content creators play this early access This is gonna be coming out on the 30th on both PS4, Xbox and PC as of me recording this So this is a day before I'm allowed to do this video so this is on a thursday tomorrow is when this video is going to be going live i do not have the patch notes yet they are still being finalized and we're going to be getting those probably tomorrow so probably in tomorrow's live stream is going to be when i'm first going to be able to go through all of the patch notes with you guys um, but if i have them i will try and put them down below in the description or i'll make a separate video for that but with that being said let's go in here let's look and as you can see we already have something new the kennel now, I currently don't have any dogs, so our first dog is actually going to be free. Free of charge. We've got six variations. I will quickly go through them all so you guys can have a quick look at them. I kind of like that one. I haven't decided yet exactly what I want to do in terms of the fur variations, but I think... Uh, where is it? Is it... This one, yeah. I think I'm going to go with this one for today. Now, you obviously have the choice between male and female. It doesn't really change much in the way this looks but you can change the gender between the two dogs but they're not going to be hugely different except for obviously some small things but I think we all know what those changes are now let's go with this let's get this one free of charge now for this I actually don't know what I'm going to name him I'm just going to name him dog we're going to call him dog for today in the actual live game though you guys have to give me some some ideas for for dog names so if you have a cool idea that I should use put them down below definitely in the description of this video and with that Let's get this. We've got Dog right over here. Level 1 companion, level 1 tracker. So let's set him as active. And look at that. There he is. There is our dog. There he is. Now, in terms of controlling these guys, you have a little wheel pressing B on PC. I'm not too sure what it is on controller. I will try and figure that out. But we've got all kinds of things we can do here. And something else I should probably buy as well, which I just noticed I forgot is I should probably try and get myself some... Is it in here? Yeah, look, the dog biscuits. Let's get ourselves a pack of 25 of dog... Oh, I actually gotta pick them in here. So yeah, I got those dog biscuits. Now, my plan for today is that we're gonna try and just roam around here and use the dog for tracking, see what he can do, and see how good he does. Now, in tomorrow's live stream, once we get a little bit more cash, I do want to try and get myself some weaker guns and just some weaker equipment. Uh, just kind of to test how good this guy actually works, because obviously trying to use the M1 right now or the 243, a lot of the animals will drop pretty much instantly. So, yeah. I'm just going to try this out, see how this goes, and then I'll report back once we found ourselves our first animal. I just was playing around with this. Look, this is the dog animation for... Hopefully, look what that was. I think that was the petting animation. Let's look at the play animation as well. So, okay, he gives you a paw. That's pretty cool. I want to see that one more time. Uh, but before we do that, let's also quickly try out the give treat one. I don't know if that's going to be the smartest idea, giving him a treat now, but look at that. That is really cool. I'm curious, are there different ones? Let's do petting again, or is there one animation? Okay, so it is always the same animation that's going to play as far as I can see. But there you guys can see. Those are the animation for the dogs. They haven't actually moved far. I was too busy looking at the dog here. Just having... Just looking at them. Just I really like the models. I mean... I just I think it looks really cool. Like the fur doesn't look awkward, except for maybe in the face a little bit it looks a little plastic, plastically. But that's honestly that's just that's fine details. You're not really going to notice that unless you have a binocular looking straight at him. But uh, yeah, I think I should actually go try and hunt some pronghorn here and see how good this dog does in what he's supposed to do, which is track animals for me and track the animals that I didn't shoot well. So quick warning as well ahead. Yeah, we are not going to be doing the best shots today. We are probably going to take some more shots than usual just to kind of see the capabilities of this dog. I will try and drop one or two animals and just see what he does if I tell him to track close to the downed animal and see if he instantly gets it, like goes there and if he levels up from that or if he only levels up from actually tracking. And we're also going to try and figure out how we can level up this dog quickly because I do want to make a guide in terms of what is most effective and least effective in terms of leveling up in the different categories. But I'm going to go hunt now. I think I've already talked way too much here in the intro. And back there is our first Plains Bison. I mean, I know he's going to run if we even shoot him with the 300. So let's just do that. 
Did I drop him? No, I didn't. Okay. He is traveling currently. I think he's becoming aggressive towards us. <laughs> Which, I mean, kind of defeats the purpose. I kind of want him to run away rather than at me, but... I guess we can backtrack him, right? Okay, cool. So, let's kind of go back here and just see what the dog would have done if we're back here trying to track that plane's bison there. So, he is not going to instinctively going to go there. Now, obviously, he would have had an advantage knowing that the animal was shot there, but let's kind of go here. I guess, I think we're far enough away, right? Let's just try that here. And let's go here, press B, and let's hit tracked. So, okay, he already leveled up companion-wise. So, that went rather quickly at the beginning. And he leveled up in tracking as well. Okay, so he's level 1. Now I know that if I go on hunting dog here, there you guys, you can see. So he's already 12% onto the next level as well, okay. And then, as you can see, you can level him up through traits, but we're going to have a look at that a little bit closer, probably tomorrow. Uh, and when I do like a full kind of talk about the dogs, and once I actually got to level him up a little bit, and see what they're going to do. But he's just kind of running right into the direction, which I mean is good. And he seemingly found it. So, is he going to bark? Okay, he seems to just... I mean, let's look. Can I give him a treat? Is that going to do anything for me? Let's look. I mean, he seems happy, but... Do I, do I got to praise him a different way? Oh, now he's barking. Okay, so that... I, I guess that just took him a little second there, but look. He found it. Let's pet him for it, and then let's complain... Not complain, let's pick up our plains bison here so yeah we could just got a terrible shot we probably would have actually gotten the heart which is not what i was trying to do but uh, he went down either way it doesn't really matter if we get a good trophy here or not because this is just our beta account this is actually not my live account but okay there's more plains bison off in that direction now i do have this one thing on where it's supposed to be able to tell me the weight of the, th of the animal but i might have to Go back into my settings and look what I did wrong there with the skills. There's some pronghorn back there, so I guess we could actually figure out and see what happens if we drop one of them and then just wound the other one. So why don't we try dropping the one there on the left and then see what happens uh, if we shoot the one on the right a little bit worse. Because I would imagine, yeah, look. Um, okay, not quite what I was expecting. So we dropped one of them, so we can at least see if that's going to level him up or not. Question is, can I get a... Okay, cool. So we got that one, so he's at least going to run a little bit there. But let's pick up the first one kind of over there and see what he actually does. Also, I want to see if just walking with the dog actually levels him up. So currently we're at 23% and 0%. So let's walk over there, like 230 meters, and just see if that actually levels up anything for our dogs or if that really doesn't do much and companion only levels up when he actually is given tasks to do. And look, there's our prong run over there. I'm going to just stay a little bit further away. And let's just see how far he'd actually notice if that animal is somewhere there. So let's track him there. So he's searching for blood, which you can see kind of... You guys, I can't show you guys where I'm pointing, but he's walking straight to the animal. So did he just find it? Looks like it. But it still says he's searching for blood. But this looks like the animation that he's found. Whatever. So I guess let's give him a treat for that. Um, yeah, let's give him a treat with that. Why aren't we? That's a good idea. We might be overfeeding our dog, but hey, we're getting at least a good companion. I wanted to see, did that level anything? Oh, look, 70% there and 65% on tracking. Okay, so this, I think at the beginning they're going to go rather quickly. Just a double long shot on this three. I guess he's nothing crazy, but... Now let's go to the other test and let's see where our other pronghorn actually went down. So I actually don't know where he is. So why don't we let the dog do this job? I mean, that's kind of why here, why he's here. So let's give him a track and let's look if he can find some blood. Okay, look, so I was not really leading him anywhere. I was just following him and he found the blood all by himself. So that is rather good. That is really, really awesome. And I guess I'm going to follow him now and let's see if he actually takes me to the pronghorn and how quickly he does it. Now my understanding is if I just stood here and he keeps walking that way, that he would just kind of stop and wait for me to follow him. 
So I want to see if that actually happens. I can already see our pronghorn back there, so let's just look. Okay, so once you get around 50 meters away from him, he's just going to turn around and be like, Hey, where are you at? Come on, help me. And you got to follow him. So let me look. Okay, so once you get within like 10 meters again, he's going to start tracking further. And let's look. Is he going to find this straight away? I like that he kind of does the kind of animation where he goes sniffing at the blood and then continues moving forward. I think that's a nice detail. And yeah, so it looks like he's going to sniff around the animal a little bit. And... I guess this is the animation when he turns back to you that he's actually found the animal. Now is he gonna bark as well? But for now, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna pet him. I don't want to overfeed our dog and make him too fat, you know. I think he should be should still be active enough to run around. But let's pick up our pronghorn. And obviously we just got a bad shot, but that was kind of the point of this. I wanted to see how good the dog actually does the tracking job. And did that level him up? Yeah, so level 3 on both things now. Now he's at 17%. One thing I did, like I say, wanted to test is see how good this guy would actually respond to just walking. So I'm just going to walk around 800 meters and see how much that levels him up in terms of like companion or tracking. If either of the, that does anything. So 18 and 22. So I'm going to walk there. I'm not going to let my dog do anything. I'm just going to tell him to heal me. So follow me, which... Let's do that. Let's whistle for a dog and let's move that way. Let's look. Let's see if he gains any levels from just walking around through the game because I think that's how companion should level up. Now the question that I do want to test also is does that work with ATVs? Will the dog follow me if I'm driving an ATV and since I'm covering more ground quicker, will I level him up quicker as well? Or does fast traveling also help? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see but for now let's just try the walking method and see if that even works okay so I kind of ran about to 100 meters of where I was going so 700 meters where I ran and yeah so he did level up in companion not a lot but a little bit so just walking with the dog will actually level up his companionship level but I think just tracking is going to be the only thing that's actually going to allow him to get well tracking knowledge which obviously makes sense so let's hit that pronghorn and I probably should have shot that one as well but, you know, we have a tracking dog now, so... Oh, okay. We're just gonna drop him. But let's walk over there. Let's track those guys one more time. And let's just get him leveled up a little bit. But then I think those are gonna be the last things that I'm gonna try and do. Now, is he just gonna stay there? Is he gonna follow us? Okay, he's just gonna follow us again. Perfect. Uh, and then tomorrow, or in today's live stream, as the day of this recording. So the 26th of March, which should be today. I am going to be live streaming at around 8, 8.15 p.m. Central European time and just looking what I can find in terms of animals, play around with the dog uh, and all that good stuff. And then I'm going to have another video live as well where I explain some of the dog features a little bit more once I actually learn a bit better what they can do and give you guys some tips and tricks. But for now, let's use our dog again. Let's set him to track and let's look which one of the two he's actually going to pick first. If he's going to pick the one that we just dropped or if he's going to go ahead and track this blood right over here. So it looks like he's going to track... Yeah, okay, he's going to track the one that he sees first, okay, which is this one, which is good. Now, let's... Wait, I want to give you a treat. should get one more treat. There we go. Let's give you a treat. I really like these animations. I really do. Perfect. And now let's confirm this trophy. Got a single lung hit on him, but obviously our aim was not to try and drop him like we did with that guy. Now let's give him another tracking job. Let's see if he does this as good as well. So let's... Oof, okay, just, just nudge me away. Why not? I'm really curious what we actually got on this one. Um, let's wait for him to turn around again. So he leveled up again in tracking as well. And let's give him another treat. Why not? Oh, praise. I don't know if that did anything, but let's give him a treat. There we go. Perfect. That's what he likes. And let's look. What crazy shot do we do on this guy? Okay. Okay, we got an intestine, stomach, liver, and left lung hit. Did not expect that we could actually hit that, but it looks like it. Got some good cash. And now what level? So level four in each of them. 9% companion. I want to see if we give him another treat or play with him. Let's look. Is he gonna go up from that as well? I 
think he should. I just want to quickly test that before we go off here. And let's look. Wait, he's at 10% now. So let's praise him. And let's pet him. And let's see if that's going to go up from 10%, if that's going to stay the same. Because if we could level him up as a companion just by doing stuff like that. Okay, 1%. So this does not do much, but it will do a little bit in terms of leveling up the dog. But like I said, I'm going to do some off-camera slash on-live stream testing today. And then I'm going to do a video showing you guys some more tips and tricks about the dogs in the future. So if you enjoyed this video, please definitely make sure to go ahead and like this video as it really does help the channel out a lot. Also, if you're new around here or you just haven't done so yet, please definitely make sure to go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're always notified when I upload new videos. And of course, when I live stream tomorrow, because I don't think you want to be missing some of this early access content for the Bloodhound dogs. And of course, with that being said, have a good day. Bye-bye and peace.